I think Broken Bow gets it. I don't know about exercise stations along a trail. I think that's kind of silly. I like them when they're not next to a road and simple, static, no moving parts away from the road, like I said. And this is good variety. <laughs> this is all monkey bars for adults. And it's not far from the senior center. They have a walking trail to it. Next to a pond is a plus. Pretty decent setup. This thing is for those hard exercises, I think. They don't even they don't even really tell you what to do. You gotta like you gotta figure it out a little bit yourself of what to do with it. And that's fine. You don't need to be explained everything on the spot. What the hell? Alright, so I'm cooking a little chicken. I got some frozen peas, which are no longer frozen. I put them in the pot frozen still, but this burner is doing a good job. Chicken and peas, and then it's going pretty good. And this is not cheap chicken either. This is the chicken that's uh, organic. Uh, eight eight dollars a, a pound, not at Walmart. The Walmart here doesn't sell any any meat. You know, that organic chicken I had was extremely soft compared to the Walmart chickens I've been buying for just eating chicken breast, at least. It's like, it makes me think possibly this this chicken died in a calm state as as, a pair, as, as compared to the inherent fear that the, the non-organic or the Walmart-style chickens die from. What's the matter with this duck? Is it dying? It's not making any noise. Looks like it's trying to swallow something. That's weird behavior. They don't seem to get the best food out here. Well, they ate up all the corn. So I have a cat sniff. Well, okay, it walked away. Sniffing around. It was sniffing around my car. I still don't know if they're for sure if there's a mouse in my car or not. It's been a few days, and I'm not hearing scratching or thumping. I have the mouse traps up and they're empty. I put peanuts in the center. They're glue traps. That's all that's sold at the Walmart. Um, and nothing. I, I just It's loud at night at the Walmart parking lot. So if it only comes out at night, I can't hear it because of all the traffic around. Uh, it's, it's really... It's really frustrating. I, I, ultimately, cleaning out the car is the number one uh, solution. Um, I want to prevent myself from getting the Hanta virus, but I, I need to find somewhere to do that. This is not the ideal location, so I'm not 100% sure about this mouse situation. So I'm seeing robins in January. It's kind of entertaining. It's like I think to myself, why can't you wimps stay in Wisconsin in January? They actually do migrate south. They don't, they don't go, I don't think they go incredibly far, but far enough. They just know to move far enough away to get away from the snow. All right, getting close to the Texas border on the east side. And from the north too, I guess. And there's this weird vegetation that produces these balls. And you see they open up, they open up pretty easily to just show a bunch of a bunch of seeds so these thick shells 
that uh, have maybe a bean usually it's it's likely to be like a bean is that something that's edible i think it looks too much like a bean to be trusted beans are awful i'd also like to comment on the the blue stem grass and as i get further south it's actually taking on a different a different appearance primarily with this bushy top the more northern ones didn't have that in fact wow how do i even harvest the harvesting would be a little different the leaves are actually are actually bigger so this is a different variation of the blue stem grass and now uh, harvesting it would be a matter of actually picking the uh, individual leaves they're bigger rather than just breaking off the tops like I was on, on, from the, with the northern ones. So I found this wire that I just had to cut the plastic off and it's the perfect length for a, like a wristband of a copper wristband pretty much. I don't wear them too often because they tend to make my, my wrists a little dirty, turn them green. And also uh, the copper uh, wearing it long term does not help with infections at all. In fact, it seems to cause infections, so uh, it doesn't stop infections at least. I've had to remove it in the past because of like uh, an infection, a skin infection of some kind. So they're they're definitely limited in what they do. All right, I can't wear this any longer. The ends need to be st um, st stamped somehow so they don't move. It can come undone pretty easy. All right, so I bought a mat underneath for my step stool to protect the bottoms. The plastic pieces are getting worn out. Three dollars at Walmart. All right, so the wear and tear has got to happen on the joints more now than the actual bottoms. The joints are going to have to go first because I'll replace that mat if needed. And let me also say that my knee started hurting right here my left knee and I, I uh, decided to toss these this huge stack it's being pushed to the right I think that's pretty important too and rather than the left with with all this uh, all this tissue in here and receipts so it's keeping it over there and it's taking away the pain I'm like uh, starting to hurt and then put the magnets in and the pain goes away so I'm like okay the side effect is that I heat up kind of fast it's like pain is a cold issue and I think I heat up the knee a little faster somehow with the magnets so I heat up fast it's the second time I've done it and I heat it up all right so northeast uh, Oklahoma about to enter Texas going south I actually found rose hips. Rose hips that taste sweet. They actually do taste sweet. They're like a smaller berry. They're a smaller berry here. And yeah, I mean, all over other places, they just don't taste sweet, but these actually do. All right, so today I am harvesting just the leaves the big these big leaves off of the blue stem there are some blue stem that don't have that big bush at the top and i'll still i'll pick some of the tops off of that but these are nice big leaves i haven't seen any of the indian grass but like there's other good grasses that have big leaves that i could just pull big brown leaves the brown gives it a taste a good taste so i don't mind what is that eating? My rose hips? The cardinal's eating something. So that thieving cardinal is picking this type of berry. I bet it squeezes. 
Like a... Hmm. I'll, t I'll try it. Alright, it has no sweet taste at all. It's not an apple. What is this thing? Hmm. It's kind of like an apple, I guess. A little tiny apple thing. And this thing is eating the blueberries. I don't know if I can eat those. It's perfectly quiet. I'm kind of close to it, I think. It's guarded, but there's plenty of berries for everything all around here right now. All right, I tasted one berry. It's, it's plentiful, kind of big seeds. Not, not much of a, there's really, it almost seems like, yeah, it's a big seed. Single big seed. It reminds me of Russian olives for some reason. It's, it seems to have that kind of uh, like feel, but there's no taste. Not grapes, that's for sure. Well, I actually mistake this blue stem grass for Indian grass. I'm like, oh, I don't want the Indian grass. And then I come over and I'm like, oh wait, there's the Indian grass. It's uh, the leaves are are certainly bigger in the fur further south. I'm not seeing any Indian grass further south. I'll say that, but it could be just the area I'm in. I don't know if this this heater thing is is uh, less efficient or more efficient, but it certainly heats things up faster. It's pretty nice. All right, I got to this uh, this picnic uh, area that's um, off the highway. And you can pull uh, away pretty good. That's that's the sound of one of your louder trucks. And I'm a pretty good distance away from that. Nobody else is here. Um, no warnings about overnight parking. This this is a, a picnic area that's uh, like a rest stop or something. And they do have picnic areas in Texas. The water looks clear. I could probably boil some of this water if I was running low enough. It looks looks like it'd be clear and clean, but I've, I I remember seeing picnic areas um, in, on the west side of Texas that I thought were just odd looking. Um, they were just small little areas. They looked they just looked too cramped and too close to the highway. But now this is the kind of picnic area uh, that I I would li I like uh, compared to the all the ones I've seen on the west part of Texas. And yeah, the only the only uh, warning signs. Oh, because uh, there's a, this is a major logging operation, so I think the log a logging company owns owns this property, and their biggest concern is damaging of trees. So I'm I'm gonna assume that a logging company may, might own this, and that they just set this this bit of, small bit of land aside um, in the in the in their um, on their property. All right, so I'm not really gonna pick any grass. I'm not seeing anything that I'd like to pick, but I think I'm gonna pick some of these. I tasted them and they seem okay. I think I'd like to pick some of that and then also use some of the, the water from some of the pools uh, to boil in a teapot and see what, what the effects are like. There's a lot of these little trees around like these, I mean, there's warnings that say don't damage the trees, but look at this. This in particular, these trees are just all too close together anyway. You're, you're going to want to weed them. So pulling, pulling leaves from various different ones and, and putting them in the teapots for boiling um, isn't really going to hurt the, the forest industry. All right, I filled up the, the little pot enough full of needles 
And now I just want to grab some water. I hope I can trust this. There are particles and all that. Taking a chance, but I'm, I'll be boiling it. And this makes me really want, or wish I had the, the firebox with me to play around with. Although things are pretty wet. Maybe I could carry charcoal in my car too for uh, the firebox. Something, something besides trying to rely always on the the, nat the st sticks and stuff if it's too wet out. Might be a cheaper fuel source in the long run. So the water looks clean and clear. And okay, I overfilled it, so I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's I can lose a little. You just balance it and then it's a little high still for the line. Eh, it's a little bit. Okay. Alright, it's still warm, but this is uh, local, just kind of whatever sitting water and the pine needles together. This is what it looks like. Just kind of a cloudy cloudy liquid and then um, I tasted some it tasted like orange juice it tastes like orange juice it's kind of strange it's got that same almost not quite as sweet as orange juice just orange juice that's not quite as sweet it's really strange All right after having almost a full pot what? Oh, a squirrel. Okay. After having almost a full pot of uh, pine needle tea, I thought I, I thought my brain was going to fade out. It was like making a weird transition, but not anything that le leads to fading out. So I like it. You can see what the uh, change in the color of the, the boiling does. The boiling... The boiling takes the life out of the out of the leaves, so it's a little even even a little different from the brown. It's three different colors <laughs> you got: fresh, dried, and boiled. I think I'm gonna fill another pot, another small pot, and just hold on to it. I, I don't need to be drinking a a lot of this tea. It's, it's like having orange juice. They call it the lumberjacks orange juice. I, 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 if you know, if I call it, if I wanted to name it myself, and this water I think is fine too. Just got to boil it to be extra safe. Hey, hey, did you see me? What's, what's going on? What, are you a cop or? Yes. Okay, what's, what's I'm up? I'm Deputy Ward with Red River Sheriff's Department. Red River Sheriff's? Yep, okay. Red River County, Texas. Yep, yep. North, yep. I know. Were you called out here or what's what's the deal? No, actually I'm doing patrol. Okay. Oh yeah? How, how do things look? Things look okay. It's just uh, oh. your windows and stuff don't look so good. Yeah. Gotta clean that moisture off. And so Wait, what'd you say you, your name was again? You said Red River Sheriff's Department. I'm You're Deputy Ward. Deputy Ward, okay. All right. Yeah. So I just wanted to stop by and make sure everything's okay. Yeah, you couldn't see uh, from your vehicle. You're you're looking in and you couldn't no, see. Your uh, ice on your windshield and stuff? No. No, no, no. Oh, so, but yeah, that you, what you were saying is pretty much you couldn't see in. Correct. From yeah, Correct. it's it's water. It's moisture, so. Yeah, it's ice. Because it's 30 it, degrees out here. It is that what the temperature is? Yes, okay. Sir. Yeah, I. I know but it's, it's ice. <laughs> yeah, I know it's gonna get colder. Yeah, it's supposed to be 27 tonight. 27, yeah. Chilly, but you know, not too bad. So what are you doing? Are you? I'm just, I don't know, just sitting here and hanging out here the coyotes. I mean, yeah. listening to the wildlife a little bit. It's nice, right. nice little area here. It is. It's nice and relaxing. You know, you stop off the highway and relax. Washington State? 
Well, yeah, I mean, that's a home base. I'm a travel. I'm traveling. Yeah. So, I mean, what about you? Are you. I'm actually uh, from Oregon. How long have you... Oh, all right. Yeah, I've been all over Oregon, too. I know that area pretty well. I'm actually from a small town called La Pine. La Plaine? La Pine. Yeah, right I'm not... South of Bend. Uh, what part of Oregon? Central Oregon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been to Bend. I've been through, like, parts of Central Oregon. Yeah. Along, I, I drove along the Columbia River. Yeah. That was, that was interesting. All right, well, just do me a favor and stuff. If you're going to be here, make sure that you uh, turn on your heater every so often, all right? Not a problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to... Like I said, this is just a courtesy to make sure that you're okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for the cold myself. I'll, I have no complaints either, so... Okay. Um, yeah, uh, nice to meet you. All right, have a good night. You too. I'm making my tire pull a little more of a challenge tossing a smaller one and the bigger one and I think I want to go reverse actually because I just ran up and down you can see my lines through the mud my tracks oh wow no that won't work second maybe what if I what if I put it around my ankles so this library took away all the chairs and tables and they even won't let you use the bathroom. She told me I could use the courthouse. I guess I'll check it out. This this library is particularly tough on the on the community. Red River County Library. Complimentary spittoon. <laughs> the crack.
I ride across the street from this courthouse. It says on the big sign, old, old jail museum, but um, there's also an actual active jail too. So they got an old jail and a modern I'll just take a peek and see. This must be the old jail. So they built it uh, not far from the courthouse. Likely the only two buildings sitting uh, here for uh, when it was first made. Old Jail Museum. And then there, there's RV area. They probably charge money. Wow, 1889. <clears throat> well, it really doesn't appear to have an entrance. That door just doesn't work. They call it a museum, but there's just no no uh, no no um appointments or anything. All right, I got some delicious dried fruits at Rick 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 Hops grocery store over there fairly good choices and then milk I gotta uh, just talk about oh I'm a little nervous about trying to find somewhere to park here overnight I don't know if I want to do it but the Walmart uh, in Paris is 30 miles west it's a big drive and it's no guarantee for a nighttime bathroom anyway so it's like it doesn't really offer me any consolation to run to Walmart although uh, I don't know it, it, most close at 10 some close at 11 um, I mean it's safe in the parking lot but I just I don't want to make the big jump but there is that peace of mind knowing that it should be a a fine place to sleep overnight, uh, even though it's not a 24 hour. Yeah, they don't even need to put a fence around this. Charles DeMars, never heard of him. 1936, looks like it, he might have, he might have had some history with the Civil War. I didn't really look at the sign. It's interesting to see the two big windows on the top roof. There might be an upstairs. Nothing really big carpet. Nothing really in here. Kind of a loose door. Huh. I don't think it's they wouldn't be unlocked. It's a work in progress. And it's just like the library is right there, that building. So it's it's an eye view of of the library. That's pretty neat. See this this city, the crime seems like it's okay. Like it's it's not bad. Three windows on the top here. That's so unique, you could like stand, that's like a six foot tall setup next to the water tower with, uh, I'm thinking those are buzzards all hanging out. The water tower cell tower. All right, just looking around Clarksville. <clears throat> There's some interesting designs here. Look at this. This looks like it's hand cut for some reason. <clears throat> and for some reason, that uh, looks like it's a style used here.
Let a trucks pull in here in some way. Oh, a car wash. This used to be a car wash. And you could like, okay. High pressure wash. I guess I've never really seen a, a car wash with uh, no roof. Wow, they even have the hose still attached and everything. But it just, they abandoned it, the, uh, <clears throat> the business. And you could just, it's very slippery. Just take a peek. Some kind of a car wash, slippery stairs. Maybe that's an early car wash design. And then for some reason, uh, all car washes have turned to having roofs. I don't, uh, I don't know why roofs are preferred for car washes exactly. All right, I've noticed over the years with my toe fungus in between here and here that when it rains, it just, the itch gets worse and then I scratch it and I rip skin off all the time. Um, so I want to dry the skin out. And I'm playing around with this alcohol now. Uh, I noticed that even when I put it, put it on some tissue and then try to wipe it on between my toes uh, with my finger, my finger feel, feels dry from this alcohol. So I don't want to touch it at all, except for applying it to in between my toes I want to dry out that area and I was thinking uh, theoretically use this to dry out that area so I can scratch the itch but maybe maybe the alcohol can take care of the itch outright there especially during rainy high moisture days all right I suspect that my squat strap was causing a downward pull on my shoulders and I'll demonstrate that which is leading to heart problems <laughs> see how this is it's like it's pulling and it's not, it's stretching out my uh, upper and middle back too much. So. So, for one thing, I got to stop doing that so much. And also I need to uh, strengthen that, the back. I've been... It's a combination of having been overstretching it with the squat straps and also just not working the middle back. I can't reach it with my uh, with my crab walks or the table stands. Using the stick helps keep my shoulders back a little bit to take some of that pressure off. So the underground news says to stay out of the big cities uh, during Trump's inter insurrection time. No problem. I prefer being out in the countryside anyway for my grass tea. Alright, so parking here all day is as nice as I can get, pretty much. That's a farm field next, uh, right next to the park where I gathered some green grass. Good weather too, that makes, that makes a big difference.
What's up? What's going on, man? Just, just sitting here. What's... Can you open this up for me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. No weapons or anything? No, I'm good. Okay, what's going on, man? I, I saw you, what? I think, uh, what was it, over at the lake earlier today? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. What are your hours? What's your, what, what's, what do you work with the schedule? Well, I work all night. Okay, so, from like 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. or something? Yep. So, okay. I was, um, uh, the reason yeah. I'm stopping out with you now is because you moved from out there and it's just kind of, yeah. you're kind of parked in, you know, it's out of, out of, out of place. All right. Place. Well, uh, who are you? You're just, I'm Officer Nim. You're, you're, you're representing the city and you're Officer Nim? Newman. Newman? Yes. Sir. Okay. And you saw that I moved from yeah. the lake to yeah, the it, library? It's a little bit <laughs> weird. It's just, yeah. out of, it's just out of place, you know, I don't see yeah, it Yeah, it's a, it's a small town, so you're going to notice patterns, and this is an unusual pattern. Do you, so, have, a, do you have your license on you? Well, I mean, it's, yeah, it's somewhere in here. Oh, you, somewhere in there? What's what, your name, Matt? All right, you said you're Newman? Okay, yes. yeah, I'm the owner of my car, okay. so it's, it's a Heinz. It's what? Heinz. Heinz? Yep. How do you spell that? All right, hello. I don't see your name tag. Can you spell your name? It's a, it's a, in, I'm a, I'll take a guess. I mean, it's a it's easy. It's like new man. N e w m a n. N e w o w. Okay, I would have yeah. said you. Nah. But no. m a n. Okay. It's new. All right. Yeah. It's Heinz. H e i n z e. H i n z e. It, no, it's uh, H e i n z e. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, is that going to help you determine the, the weirdness of this uh, situation? Well, I'd just like to con or know who I'm contacting with, you know what I mean? Okay. So, that's it. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm. I, I, this car is not stolen. Well, I, I mean, I'm I not, I, you know, I don't know what person, if they stole a car, would have my pattern of activity, you well, know, parking at a lake and then coming over here. Well, I mean, that that's the weird thing. I mean, at the lake, I, I was mean, like, I wasn't there. Uh, you didn't see me. Uh, during like the uh, the curfew, okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's right. What, that's the thing. I mean, I'm I'm following the law with that. I mean, you're you're enforcing a curfew. I saw it's uh, what ten to six, right? So something like that. I know at ten o'clock everybody's got to get. You gather. probably yeah. You probably check at that time, right? So yeah. Well, that's the thing. As I went out there, oh, I don't remember. It's probably about five ish. And, five. Uh, yeah. I saw you out there, and I was like, oh. Okay, just somebody out here just checking yep. out some scenery. And not many people. I mean, how long have you worked here in the city, the town? I've worked here since February. Okay, so you notice patterns since February, less than a year, but almost a year. Um, and you've noticed in your time here, uh, not a lot of people hang out at that park. Is that? Well, it's not. It's not that. Do, it was. It was like get... I seen you there, and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just you're, you're the establishing night, but... the pattern. From your experience of going out there in the past, for the over the past year, okay. you really don't see a lot of people out there. Okay, right. Well, that I'm that, just the reason I'm stop we're stopping out with you right now. Like I said, you're not in any trouble or anything. I, well, I, mean, I, I but, wouldn't expect there to be any no, trouble. No, no, I just. I mean, I'm, I, I didn't. I wasn't out there during curfew. No, no. And, let's, you know, hold on. Let me explain a little bit. Okay. I'm just building up what I was saying. I seen you at the lake. No yeah. big deal. You're not okay. doing anything wrong at the lake. Then I come over here and I see you. I'm just like, okay, I saw that car earlier. I figured it yeah. was just a passenger. Well, that's through. that's cool. So that's that's why I'm stopping out. That's 4 a.m. You know, between 5 p.m. and 4 a.m. Your shift's coming kind of close to an end, I guess. It's uh, well, it's over 12 hours, right? Or, mm -hmm. I work 12 hours, four. but I was just yeah. the re that's why I'm stopping out with yeah. you and everything. So, yeah. what was your first it, name? Oh, okay. Uh, let's exchange some information. Uh, let me get your first name. I, I don't give out my first name. Sorry. Why not? What's the deal? Why it's don't you do it? It's just a simple. For me. I, yeah. I understand. Because I, I mean, I could I could go oh. to Hang the on police station. Okay. Hang on just a second. All right. I'm gonna. Hello. I'll be out here just a little bit longer. Alright. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that was my so, dispatch. Okay, yeah, I could go to the police station and, and say, hey, you know, this Officer Newman approached me mm -hmm. at 4 a.m. Just, you know, I was hanging out, minding my own business, and he just has to, you know, tell me that I'm acting uh, in an odd pattern. Well, it's and, not. And I'll be like, what's his first name? What's Officer, first, Officer Newman's it's, it's, first name? It's not. And, and they'll be like, oh, here it is. 
but you can't tell me on the ground. Okay. Let me explain. I'm not stepping out with you because of odd pattern. I'm stepping oh. out with you because nobody's here at this time of night. Okay, okay. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. That's it. Kind of is a little. Yeah. Suspicious well, I'll point. tell you. I'll I'll try to I'll leave your suspicion a little bit. The Wi-Fi works at the library. That's, that's pretty. That's understandable, that's right using, there. Using the Wi-Fi. Okay. Well. So. Uh, all right. Let me get your name real quick. Let me run you. I mean, all it's right. nothing. Nothing I'll major. Like I said, you know. Said, once you're again, not... I mean, I'd like you to help me save on the hassle of having to go out to the police station to get your first name, and I'm, I'm willing to exchange information. Well, I'm sorry I'm... for my safety. <clears throat> I don't give out my first name. Okay. If you want to go well, to the police department, what ask... you're what you're doing is invoking your Fourth Amendment uh, protected rights. It's a civil right that we all share. I guess you could say that. So I'm I'm also I'd also like to practice the same thing. We oh, both sure. are in the same uh, commonality here with uh, invoking our civil rights. Well, you're perfectly fine with that. You're not really doing anything against the law. Yeah, I mean it's it's oh. a, such a quiet area. I don't um, know how how's the crime around here. Pretty high. Really? Yep. That's a surprise. It's so just, quiet. Uh, what kind of the first is it, of the year? I is just, there a drug? Is there a drug issue? It's or? everything. At the first of the year, I issued 18 warrants, if that tells you anything. Well, it tells me that you're an active person. I'm not, you know, sure if, uh, what kind of arguments you make um, uh, for your for your activity. There's some cops that, well, you know, I'm just they saying, can stretch, they can twist. Well, you, you know, I'm just telling you, you know, so, you were asking about the crime rate, and I was just telling you. Okay, I okay, would, all right. I was just and you're you saying out. it's high? My impression has been... It's it's a quiet area. I haven't noticed any drug problems. Um, it's uh, and, what you don't see. I see well, a lot more of what you don't see. I, I'll put it that I'm, way. I'm outside. I mean, I've only been here a couple days. You've been here a year. Right. So um, what what the, what you just passing through? I noticed. I'm just traveling. Walking. Yeah. I'm just. Okay. I mean, I, I decided to hang out at the lake because I'm a slow traveler. Yeah, I got I, I'm not really in a rush. And that, but and I, I, like I said, the reason I didn't stop out with you out there was because there's nothing you were in. You were considering it? No, yeah. I never. Because I, was like, I, I wasn't. I actually will admit, I was uh, in the walking trail, and I, I actually saw your. That it was you. I saw your car, Newman. Yeah. And I was like, okay, is he gonna stop at my car and mess with me? No, and I, I watched. There, there was no reason for and, me to stop out with you. Yeah. There. But like I said, when but, I come out here and I seen you, and it's in, yeah. you know, four o'clock in the morning, I've seen that vehicle so, out there. So what if, the if you going on with it? you see somebody at the grocery store, and, you're, and you just you know you, their their car, you know you remember it, and you see them somewhere else, you'd be like, oh, I'm following a pattern of this person's activity. It, it's it's not a pattern. You know? It's it's just you know, hey, you're a passer through. Okay, cool. But then if I see the exact you know, same vehicle in a different spot at a different, you yeah. know, where and I don't usually see vehicles, mm -hmm. then it kind of is like, okay, what's going I, on here? Yeah, I will say, I was I was interested in that the RV park. There's supposed to be some kind of RV park advertised on a sign. Yeah, it's and, uh, and I'm like, where is that? You know, I, I was I would try to maybe park overnight there, but it, it looks like it's in the center of the city, or something. Uh, I, no, 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 it, no, no, no. The RV park. So. I know you don't know the town, but this next street wow. over, you yeah. just get on it and you'll go out. It's all the ways. It's it's it. not a ways. Oh. It's actually right there by the lake, but it's on the other side. Oh, okay. Um, but you have to before you can stay out there. You have to go up to the city hall. Oh, and it's the city. Register okay. And okay. Pay some money and yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to look at that, but uh, it's just I I didn't. I just decided to just kind of hang out and right. use the Wi-Fi here. And I mean, right. you didn't approach me as I was sleeping. I was I'm awake. Yeah. You know, I was just using the Wi-Fi. Right. So I mean, it's. Well, I'm like I said. I it, mean, it's it's uh, as long as, it, as long as you're in town. The yeah, I, I McDonald's I, up there. It's free Wi-Fi too. Ah, it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I gave up on McDonald's a while back. They've really cut just a, a lot of websites out and stuff okay. instagram gets blocked okay um, well i was gonna tell you that's a little bit more normally if i see a car up there i'm not really too worried about oh it. okay it's, yeah it's, I, you know over here it's a little bit more secluded and yeah I got some businesses around here yeah so I'm, like, I'm nearby hmm. i'm nearby businesses so you would you like me to sign an affidavit swearing no, i don't no, it, no, no, i don't i plan not, i don't plan to break into any businesses i can sign this affidavit you know, swearing that I won't no, no. break see, in. See, this is this is what I normally do. Okay, 
if I was to stop out with somebody like this, you know, I'd come up, run their vehicle, and then I would also come up to you, like I did, and get That's your fine. name. Yep. And then that way, you know, if something was to happen. Yeah, and I could swear, once again, I can write, you know, we, I could sign an affidavit promising no, 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 you're, not you didn't to let break me it. You didn't let me finish. So, uh, if say, you know, I get your information and whatnot, you know, I write it down, I log it that I was out with you, no big deal, I go about my merry way. Let's say later on today, my chief's going to be on. He's he gets a call for a break in at one of these businesses. Yep. And I come in. I'm coming in tomorrow or tonight actually. Okay. And I tell him. I'm, he tells me, you know, oh, I had a break in over there. And I was like, hey, I had stopped out with Mr. Hines out there. I mean, that's all you gave me, so I'm just going by that. I stopped out with Mr. Hines out there. Let me see if I can find him tonight and see if he find, saw anybody. Well, I, I'll be gone so, today. I, I'm taking off. I'm heading heading west. Heading west. Yeah, okay. a little bit. Just go. Oh yeah, I go. I want to stop at a Walmart. It's been a while. Ah, so. well, you're in what the next Paris. Time up. Yeah, Paris. Yeah. yeah, but I just I wasn't in a rush to get over there. Right, I understand. But, but yeah, half your buildings. I mean, I've walked around. Mm -hmm. half, half your buildings, residents and businesses, are like gutted yeah. out. Oh. Counting on me. Okay, you're you get some. No, I'm. Good. I just half half your town is uh, run down. You know. Yeah. You're not. You're not. You're not sitting on a gold mine here. You know? ah, not right now. It's ho not I'm right now. Okay. I'm hoping. You're to, hopeful. I'm hoping that it's going to grow here. Try Williston, year. North Dakota, sitting on the back end oil field. <laughs> Those guys are rough. Too. Where, where are you coming from exactly? I just, are you just driving I, a big old loop through the United States. Yeah. I, I mean, you see, I'm recording. I put yeah. on YouTube the you know places I go. Oh, okay. But I follow the weather a little bit, so I mean. Ooh. It's winter time, you know, so I'm heading. You a storm chaser? No, no, no. I'm lazy. I'm a bum. I am a bum. <laughs> I, that's pretty crazy what those guys do. Yeah, no, I'll... no. I just travel, uh, follow the weather. I didn't have to follow the weather so closely when I was on the coast, right? On the California, Oregon, wash, you know, mm -hmm. the Pacific. I didn't have to follow it as much because it wasn't as intense. But right. in the Midwest, more I, I got I to make bigger jumps because it, it's a wider range. Oh yeah. And yeah. Well, how so. you like in Texas while you're? In? Well, I just got into Texas. Okay. I'll say Red River Sheriff's actually came out to visit me at their picnic on Highway 37. Mm -hmm. Is that the highway? Oh, there's a picnic area that the loggers yeah. drive by. It's really heavy activity with logging, and there's this nice picnic area I spent the night at. Yeah. And a sheriff uh, deputy came out. Check Webb? Out. Or no, no. I, f I forget her name exactly. Ward? I re I re Ward. Okay. Yeah, I recorded it too. So you could look that up. And uh, What's your uh, YouTube channel? I might look it up just for the heck of it. Uh, oh, well, uh, you could search. I'd just say just you could search Red River right. deputy and, okay. and that should come up, okay. um, well, I would I, think. I'd, I'd just, be interested in that. So. I'm a big YouTuber. <laughs> Oh, you look at, you watch the YouTube? Yeah, um, you watch the First Amendment audits and, you know, the uh, cop stuff, so you learn. Uh, I don't it, so much watch that. I watch other stuff, stuff like World War II stuff. I'm oh, big into wars and stuff. Yeah, how about um, murder mysteries, maybe? There's, not even Check that. out that chapter. You might get into it with that chapter. That chapter? That, yeah, that's a pretty interesting uh -huh. uh, criminal, you know. Um, he gets, like a lot of interesting stuff but i don't mean to divert okay. i mean usually when i get on youtube i just you know i try to forget about my job when i'm at the house oh, so oh. i usually watch okay. something that's a little bit outside of law enforcement yeah there's some people who live and breathe this this policing uh, you'll tell it, you ask my chief it, he can't keep me away from here i yeah. love working here but oh but when i go home i'm like okay, yeah, okay. separate yeah. yeah it's what you gotta do you gotta you got to be able to step back and 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 approach yeah. the the job from a uh, a fresh perspective. Yep. yep. So. I uh, back in oh I think it was 15. My brother he's also yeah. a police officer in Dallas. Yeah. And I went to his graduation and his uh, police chief kind of gave him a challenge and I took that challenge to my own heart. So I kind of try to I live well, and well, work hard at the job when I'm at, at the yeah. job, but after that, when I go home, I forget about it. I do something else. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that's, but anyway, that's an approach. Anyway, so that's I was just stopping out with you. Like I said, you know, yeah, a vehicle, an odd place that I've never seen before, stuff like that. Just it, make sure that you're all good, you know. Yeah, you're, you're doing a community policing, community caretaking function. Um, 
and I'd recommend paying it you should maybe do some work outside of your um, your hours because your Supreme Courts is on YouTube check them out because uh, I've, I've got like a criminal case it's it's a disorderly conduct in out of Williston like I mentioned North Dakota and you'll see that if, if you find my channel I, um, you could look up Williston and you'll see that I got some videos okay. um, but their Supreme Court went to YouTube a few months ago since this COVID thing started mm -hmm. they, they've, they've changed around how they're doing things and you can actually learn from your you know your higher ups yeah uh, who's actually deciding you know if you wanted to charge me with something they actually some of these issues go to this oh, state know. Supreme Court and they're they, they're on YouTube now yeah. making these arguments in Texas I checked actually and their Supreme Court's on on YouTube now they're becoming YouTube stars <laughs> it's and you can actually see what you know results from uh, an interaction like mm -hmm. this like if you wanted to accuse me of, of drunk driving or something you know and I you know petitioned it or whatever right it, and we take it to the state Supreme Court you see those arguments yeah you know like um, I can I, I kind of consider when you're asking my name it to be a Fourth Amendment issue um, so well, here it, I'll, it, I'll tell you a little bit of something you know every state in the United States is different a little bit a little bit so in the state of Texas um, like right now you aren't I'm not expect or suspecting you of any crime or yep. anything like that yeah so because of that I can't just have you identify yourself exactly okay? that's yep. so we're on the same that's, page there so yeah. that's why when I asked you your first name you didn't give it to me I'm not pushing it you have the right yeah. to do that now if I was to let's say get a call of a suspicious vehicle here yeah that's then you got something I, stand. you know I would obviously tell you hey look I got a call saying that there's a suspicious yeah. vehicle it, I, I need to check your license. Yeah, re so, reasonable grounds and all that. Yeah. I, you you have somebody who's actually complains, and then that gives you a little bit uh, right. more, uh, like you get a witness to bring to the, you know, right. trial. So, so, but it, I mean, most of the time around here in Texas, you know, you know, like I said, I could walk up, you have the right not to identify yourself, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. But, um... But I mean, I, I'm in my car. I'm not walking on the yeah. street, so I'm like, I, I, I'm kind of at a loss here because, yeah. you know, I, I, I want to say, you know, this is my car. Yeah. You know, and, well, it, it, in the state of Texas, they don't see it any different. Even if I was called suspicious. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought I had somebody going down the wrong way. I've had problems with that. I saw. Yeah. This this small town, kind of a small town, does have one ways. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, um, yeah. So that would be the difference. That's it, why I didn't push it. You know, trying to ask your first name or anything yeah. like that. So, yeah. but uh, I, in state of Texas, in case it happens again, if an officer comes up to you, if you're in Texas and they say, "Hey, we got a call saying of something," then you do have to identify. It kind of sucks, but it is. Well, and if you start to resist or not even give your yeah, name, you know, it, you get, it gets trouble. You get you get uh, what uh, um, failure uh, to identify. It's well, it's uh, kind of that. It's it's a uh, it. Uh, there's another word for it. I don't know why. Oh, it's County, I'm 10-4. Yeah, this follows along the lines of disorderly conduct. 10 I have that 28 rating. I just hold it for now. So, yeah. But, it's, yeah, it, that's, it, that's it. The crime, the crime has a lot to do with... Uh, writing the charge because you want to have you want to have like a name to write the charge to or whatever but I, I'm if, I'm at the point where you know I I'm curious like could some could the cops identify me through the fingerprints because yes. that's what I've been threatened with a lot yes. we're going to take you down to jail and and fingerprint you and then we'll identify so you the, the way that would work is it's, again if I had gotten a call on you and said hey man I got a call a suspicious vehicle you know yeah. you got your license on you and you're like, no, I don't want to identify yourself. Yeah. Then I have to charge you with a failure to identify. And then, obstruction, obstruction of justice. That's how mm, about how do you like that? That's some some do that. That's like that's like disorderly conduct and this obstruction right. of justice. They're kind of almost intertwined in a lot of ways. I mean, right. it's like a cop just like flips a coin. What do I want to charge this guy with? Uh, it, well, there is it, actually a standard that we have to go by. Yeah. It, you it, know, if if you fall in this criteria, then it, this is what it is. If you fall in this criteria, this is what it is. Yep. We just can't be like, ah, it, you know what? He's drunk, but he's in his car. It's not running anything. I'm going to charge him with DWI. We can't do no, that. No, no, no. That's 
we have to charge if we're going to do that it would be something else but I, i'd recommend looking at what your supreme court says state supreme court because i mean you can charge a lot of things oh, yeah. but what is actually able to be followed through with i mean is, is another yeah, another what, issue is it worth it, charging the person with that charge yeah and, and are you serving the community's best interests by by following through with this too i mean you got to bring a jury in if it's challenged and does the community support this ultimately you know it's not just exactly your senses and how you feel at the time you got to think about what the community thinks about the situation as well it, uh, especially if it's challenged it, i it, don't really it, really think about the community you have it. to I, that's a real strong uh aspect of your job i mean is, is to consider the reason the whole reason i was uh, hired was to stop crime granted failure to identify is that a big crime no um but unfortunately you know if i do get a call on you you know it's not yeah. doing, it, i have to fulfill my job to the fullest you know what i mean yeah you got so, a community member who's who's got a concern here so to do you that wanna, i got to continue on you know what's your name what's you know you, you identified wanna, for me yeah. and then from there i'll be like hey man okay this is all you know it was just suspicious vehicle i don't see anything suspicious about you you're free to go there's nothing here you know yeah. it'd be that or if you just didn't want to identify it then it goes into a little bit bigger deal yeah just because and, and you know all because somebody just called you in or something yeah it's, and it's, I, you probably know who your prosecutor is and what types of cases they're willing to take on because, yeah you know some and so, they that one that one mm, i mean it's it, a good charge but yeah. they may very well drop it i mean yeah I, there's there's that there's that case I, i've had a charge and i was like it was dead to right a good charge mm -hmm. and my district attorney dropped it and i was like oh okay, okay. yeah okay well yeah. that happens so i'll, I'll say I, I got this case still in williston uh, north dakota district attorney won't drop it just simple disorderly conduct and it's it's, it's a situation that's very arguable arguable right. um, have you tried to take care of it up there well i i am taking care of it uh through i actually got uh a zoom i did a zoom hearing um, oh, because of COVID. And, and gotcha. that that dirty district, that dirt is not a city prosecutor. She she tried to like get it to where I I get. She didn't want me to get approved for the Zoom, mm -hmm. and and she wanted me to actually go back up there. It's too, <laughs> it's too cold, <laughs> and, and so but I made arguments about COVID and it's because yeah. I I they denied they denied me a lawyer for the first six months. And I had to make arguments for that. I had to make my First Amendment arguments over the disorderly conduct, my Fourth Amendment arguments over the arrest, and then my Sixth Amendment arguments over not getting a lawyer for the because I'm I'm really poor too. I'm not a rich YouTuber, so I, I made made my own legal arguments. You know, I, I had to learn the law, and I want to yeah. sue these guys because I, especially to get for the time I took to learn North Dakota law, yeah. which really doesn't apply in Texas now. It doesn't. That's the if, bad thing. And it, you know what's even worse is our neighbors, Oklahoma, their yep. laws are totally different from ours. There's, yep. And it's it's so wacko. And, and I, I think they have their st state Supreme Court on YouTube as well. But, I mean, it, like I said, you know, you can't really go to one state and be like, okay, this is the law, and then go to another state. Yeah, the, I actually, I'll give you an example. I went to Florida here recently back in September, and okay. I have my concealed carry. And through every right. state, I yeah. was flowing with my wife. I told her every state we went in, I was like, all right, look up the law for concealed carry. Yeah. And I had done a rough look up yeah. to see what it was. And so I told her, look it up, see what I can do, what I can't do. She told me every state, so I followed their law to the letter okay. on concealed carry. Yeah. But it was but, a pain in the butt because I had to learn. I don't know how you, many states are yeah. here in Florida, but. I had to learn every one of them. But, it, so. you know, this this con yeah constitutional stuff is supposed to be federal. It covers states in kind of a uniform way, in a general way. But, yeah, the states have their minor. The states it, can do, the, you know, change yeah. whatever they want. Yeah. So. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to hold you up any longer. Okay? Well, I, I just, plan to just kind of wait until the sun and then take off. Okay. I mean, I'm not in a rush. Okay. Uh, well, so. like I said, I was just kind of stopping out because it was an odd right. vehicle in an odd place. Yeah. Not usually here. I saw you pause over there. So, 
Do what? I saw you pause over there. Yeah, like, I was actually looking at something else. Oh, I was looking okay. at something in my car, and then I looked right. up and I saw you, and I was like, wait. You're like, this, huh? this little Ford Focus is somewhere else. Yeah. I was like, I, I think that's the same one, so that's why I started to come over here and everything. So. Well, the bicycle kind of gives it away, too, Yeah, I that's suppose. what it also kind of kind of raised my suspicions. I was like, wait, isn't that the same one? So. Yeah. But all right. that's why right. I was stopping out with you. You're okay, good. Officer Newman, all right. So, yeah, I, okay. I'll let, so. I'll let my chief know you should be gone before he gets here, but if in case he, well, uh, in case he gets over here, I just, it's easier. I just want things to warm up a little bit. The battery's a little weak. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. All righty then. Well, you have a good rest of the night. Try to stay okay, home, all right? Okay, you too. Oh, sure. Alright, so as you can see, my glove is a little wet because this thing is broken. Insulin uh, pen, it's the shape of a pen, and you can even like put it in your coat pocket like it's a pen. So it's still supposed to be good. You like, you choose the amounts, you take this this top off oh okay it's broken so the the liquid is making it difficult okay and then it looks like it's all cracked so it's not in good shape do not transfer to a syringe and it's covered I don't I don't know how that I don't know if it's it looks like it's not been used but it's cracked so that's probably why it's sitting it's sitting in the parking lot. It's just insulin. It's got a it's got a smell to it. It's it's got uh, it's not a medicine-y smell. It it's an oily smell. So this insulin I don't know if people have described the smell of insulin in the past, but it's oily. Maybe an oil ba insulin tends to be oil based. Single patient use only. No sharing your insulin needles. 500. And then this thing turns, I guess. Yeah, you could hear it turning to adjust. But uh, yeah, I was just sitting in the parking lot. I'd never seen anything like that before in front of the nails and spa. All right, we got the Shogun behind this shopping district. Uh, I know what it is if I walk closer to that sign, but what caught my attention, no cruising, man. So that's been a problem in the shopping. It's a big parking lot. When I get to the end, you'll see.